Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, a new backdrop, yes, we've moved into a house for a year, at least we rented it for a year, yeah, you will see more and more of this house in the next upcoming videos guys, the sky is still blue over here, I don't know why the light is just bright, but all good, into this very short TA video on Sunday, and I'm going to show you four amazing charts. Really quickly, really cool, because Bitcoin is not a fool. <laughs> no, and I'm not a fool as well. I started to mine Bitcoin in 2013, and then in 2017 it went all in, and I kept other guys. Let's jump into the charts quickly. Let my feet don't work no more. One hour chart you can see in this one hour chart like i said before we were moving like a snake and i thought a snake would attack to the upside and uh, maybe people were laughing but a snake does always attack like this it goes and then pulls back and then bam and that is exactly what we saw over here <laughs> the snake went up the snake head and we pulled back and bam <laughs> that's what we did now we are in this green area guys and in this green box this is the important box we need to try to break the 42k level and um, we are doing our best, a lot of volume came in, sideways, maybe one more push to above this box, 43k, but that is what we are trying to do here. So let's see how the band performed in this one hour chart. Here we have it, um, check if that was a good chart to trade at the moment. I think it was a good chart, let's see. We have the short over there, this short flag. There's a lot of green, so that's not when the moment when we take the short. We take the short and we close the candle up down below the yellow stepping line. But we need yellow and, and um, bluish, like here in the bottom. So then you could only take the trade over there. Because I have the first confirmation, second confirmation, red line on top, third confirmation. Bam, bam, already crossed fourth confirmation. And that would be a really small short from there till about the long flag. 0.6% uh, with a leverage of 10 of coins 6% uh, and now the long on the bam bam indicator guys here is the long flag closing above the other stepping line and then over there you should have take taken profit because of going above that bluish light also 1% many uh, possibilities in the bam go to the bitcoinfamily.com let's start bam next chart this is the day chart on the day chart guys I've been telling you for a long time um there's two lines. The first line was this one. We broke that. Then the second line was the green line. We need to break that. 41,200. That's a huge point of resistance. Why? I told you, look here. This area we fight. Here it returned into support. Here it was a kind of support. Here we broke it. Became resistance. Resistance. Here also resistance. We need to break that level. And then the second level we need to break is this line. This line. It's coming down from the top to a lower high and then we need to make another lower high around 44,000. If we break that line, that would be the most bullish thing in Bitcoin at the moment. And why do I think that we are going to break that line? Because I look at history of Bitcoin and that's what we are going to do together now. Bam! Here, the weekly, um, which is the monthly, sorry, here the monthly. The monthly candle closed beautifully and we opened the new one. This green one this is going to take 30 days you can see that the money closed way above the beautiful EMA ribbon just like in 2017 yes we had some pullbacks but we closed above that EMA ribbon and now we closed far above this EMA ribbon it became exciting but we closed above it this one and now we are printing a green candle on the monthly bullish this is in my opinion very bullish now because a monthly is really important now i'm going to show you why i think that we are going to go and see a very hard explosion in the bitcoin price in my opinion guys i'm just a dude walking the beach sitting in the garden with a huddle cap always remember i'm not a financial advisor whatsoever but check these charts here we go bam this is the first chart guys this first chart i found on bitcoin jack's twitter 
and um, because he didn't have the name on it I put his name on it on the top on his Twitter I found this chart and Bitcoin Jack is saying over here which I really like every time the bull market last part huge run started at these green areas green arrows you see and every time you can see the same movement into that gray box then we break out of that gray box and that is the start of that last part pa -pa -pam, of the bullhorn we break into the green box out to the green box pa -pa -pam, bull run. you can see the cell range the two red lines on the top the moment we get into these numbers 3.78 to 8.52 that is the level we should be selling now the buy range is here on the bottom we already saw that now we came back into that green box what do you expect that will happen now if we would copy the moves of the two previous cycles then this would mean that we would go up from here guys it would mean we go up maybe we retest and bam, up like that and then maybe even bam till there and then come down again like that and that is an indication of the start of that huge last part of the bull run really beautiful then bam i found something on this one nunya business plat dizov on uh, on uh, twitter really cool this chart first on twitter from him in this chart very simple from the low in 2012 11 it took 375 days 375 days to the halving and then from the halving it took 386 days to the peak then from the low in 2015 till the halving it took 539 days and then 526 days to the peak now from the low in 2018 19 took 513 days to the halving and it can take uh, now 503 days maybe to the peak which would be on the 21st of september in 2021 which would be uh, kind of off normally it is in december um, so it would be a little bit early the peak but that is how fast the movement now could go please realize this and this is not just numbers because of the red and the blue and the green line no we can analyze those numbers because we have bam over here this and on this thing you can see thing thing you need is a table they call it in english and a table a table you can see that every time when bitcoin performed how bitcoin performed after 10 consecutive green closes and we had 10 green candles at the moment 10 day candles check the charts we had 10 green day candles and every time after that we had to stand green day candles closed you can see it over there this was the performance it didn't happen often it only happened in these periods over there the first one was the 31st of um, october in 2013 and it took 10, 10 days and the performance was 70 percent that's how you read it the second time it happened was the 29th of april in 2017 it took 13 days it was 40 percent and then the sixth again till the 14th of october in 2017 40 percent that's how you see it. i hope you understand it 24th of december till the first of january in 2021 40 percent now again 10 days from the 21st of july till today if we would take a look at the performance from that moment then you can see in after one day two day three day four five day ten day after 60 days what the performance did of bitcoin in average it was a 106 percent performance in 2013 we made 130 percent after 60 days two months in 2017 it was 40 percent 200 percent and another time in january uh, in uh, 2021 in january 50 percent so every time we saw 10 green candles and then two months later this was the performance 30 days later this was the performance so be aware between now august september october the next two months can be very explosive if you 
look at history guys um, do we have another chart yes bam oh this is not going to be a short video this one i found on priced in bitcoin really cool as well here bam this chart um, i love this chart as well there's an airplane flying over my garden uh, i need to uh, seven o'clock in the morning so next time i need to do the video another time um, but really cool chart the bitcoin percentage of the global wealth I think the global wealth in total is what do we see here 418 trillion US dollar at the price of Bitcoin 41k we are only representing 0.21% of the total global wealth if Bitcoin would represent 1% of the global wealth we would see a price of 200k if Bitcoin would represent 2% of the global wealth, we would see a price of 398k. And so on. If Bitcoin would represent 5% of the global wealth, then the Bitcoin price would be almost a million US dollar. And if we do 9%, we would be a 2 million dollar. Really cool chart. I think Bitcoin can grow way higher than 1% or 2% of the global wealth. But that's my opinion. And I'm not a financial advisor. Bam. I'm just Didi, holding some bitcoins and living the crypto life 24-7 with a family of five in which we traveled 42 countries in the last couple of years because we understand how the bitcoin cycle moves. If you want to understand how this bitcoin cycle moves as well, go to the bitcoinfamily.com and you find all the information how that we track those movements and how that we, um, you know, make some bitcoins to live. And we also have the family site still that's yolofamilytravel.com there you can find some cool t-shirts caps and all that stuff guys. that was my sunday ta video 12 minutes way too long but i hope you really enjoyed this really cool charts on the sunday morning if you did enjoy these charts give the video a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment what do you think of my new setting should i sit between the goats and the chickens should i sit somewhere else i don't know i still need to figure out it's my first day in this new beautiful house thanks for watching guys i wish you an amazing sunday see you later today hopefully we close above what do we say 42k this beautiful day the monthly close was amazing now let's close this beautiful day as well. Amazing. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bam! I can't stand no more.